Hello and welcome everybody. I am so excited to bring you my good friend and colleague, Carol Williams. And you know, her story and her journey of her business and setting it up and launching it, like it is so inspiring. And there's a few things that I wanna share with you, but I'm not gonna get too far into it because well, I want you to hear from Carol herself. You know, one of the things that I remember that she told me about her business when I first met Carol, she described her business as being held together by spitballs and duct tape. Maybe you can relate, I don't know, but I loved that visual and I could really understand the spot she was in. Well, she has come a long way since then and her story is really inspiring. So I wanted to bring her here as a guest and ask her a few quick questions. You might be able to relate to it, might help you in your own story. But Carol, thank you for being here. I'm so excited that you're joining us and that you're doing this with us. Well, thank you very much, Melinda. It's amazingly awesome to be here and be part of this whole um, journey. Yeah. Okay. So right now, like you're in this beautiful setting. It's like there's a lake behind you. It's a gorgeous day. Like, where are you? Where are you calling in from? Well, I had to put myself here because this is the, what I consider the coach's lifestyle for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I am at my home and I am outside on my dock. And uh, it, it came to me a few weeks ago. I was a guest at a BNI meeting and I overheard somebody say, someday I'll get a lake house and I'll work from my dock in a with a laptop. And I thought, oh my goodness, why do I not do that more? Because you're already that person. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. What do you mean? <laughs> nice. So I decided on that very day that I needed to spend more time out on my dock. And so here I am. That's beautiful. And I'm in New Hampshire. Up in New Hampshire. Okay. It's a gorgeous yeah. day out there. You look beautiful. And beautiful. that's brilliant to do that. Like, and that's really why we do what we do. Like we create these businesses so we can have that freedom to travel where we want to travel or work from mm -hmm. wherever we want to work. Like that's why we do what we do. And you are a perfect example. Well, that is awesome. I love that you're there. And you know, you weren't always there, right? Because I remember right. that you were telling me about your story. And there was this little voice that was always going on. Like, tell me more, like, tell us what that voice was and tell me more about that. Cause I, I find this interesting. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, Melinda, one thing you're really good at is pausing me if I get too much, too far into my story. Right. Sure. So please do that. The reason that I'm here um, on the lake is uh, that I left my former husband uh, about five years ago now. Um, he's alcoholic and verbally abusive and he was not very supportive of me and my, my coaching journey. He was not supportive of me, uh, being self-employed at all. So I carried with me that, uh, voice in my head. That was a pretty big gremlin for a long time. Um, periodically he comes and visits and we just stuff him back in the woods where he belongs. Like the voice um, comes to visit you, the right? The voice, <laughs> Right. He's yeah. not actually stalking yeah. me, okay, <laughs> but um, I think, you know, that might be helpful for the people listening to this because there are those voices in our heads, you know, that really get us down. And so my voice was, um, go get a job. Why don't you just go get a job? Yeah. And that was not helpful for me in my coaching journey. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have a plan B. My plan was to succeed. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I don't know if you read my story. I wrote about it in the Facebook group, but my dad did. I mean, he's my greatest, yeah. my greatest cheerleader. And all of a sudden he's like, Melinda, it's simple. You need to go get a job. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, no, no, that's not how, like, I didn't say it quite that way, but I'm not going to say exactly what I said. But right? yeah, that voice, whether it's a real voice or especially if it's the voice in our head, like that can creep up. And it can, mm. it can really paralyze us or stop us when we start believing it. Yeah. And uh, so this was a voice that was always just kind of there. And one yep. of the things I love about your story is you used it as motivation. You're like, oh no, back in the woods you go. I'm not listening mm. to you. <laughs> I'm going to be successful. And it was just this motivating factor that kept mm. moving you forward. Step after step, no matter mm. what you had to do, you were going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just little bits and pieces, you know, and a lot of gratitude, just looking at what was working and what was not working and continuing on. And I'm still doing that. Right. Yeah, Cause I haven't. Right, yeah, exactly. that, don't ever think it's a never ending process. I mean, that's always, <laughs> always evolving and yeah. uh, that's for sure. But I love how you embrace that. 
um, because it's, it can be really easy to listen to it and get stuck in that and buy in. For sure. Um, and especially from somebody that's so close to you, you know, we were married for 18 years. So yeah. you become really close to someone yes. like your husband or a wife and, and, you yeah. know, you really do begin believing that. So yeah. yeah. So that's, and that's why, um, you know, one of the things that we talk about is having a community of like-minded, like-spirited mm -hmm. people, because you know, you're, what is, how does that saying go? You're the sum of the, the top five people that you surround yourself with, or it's something like that. I, I probably just yeah. pictured it, but it's something like that. Yeah. And, um, uh, so, you know, when, when we have this community that we've created here, Mm. Um, and you have really embraced that you, um, I mean, you just exude that you dive in, you give generously, you receive fully. And it's this energy that happens back and forth, but speak a little bit about how the community and being connected in that has supported you in the success that you've experienced in your business. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I love to be part of the community, uh, because when you have a question or or a problem, you put it out there kind of timidly, like you might be thinking like, ooh, no one else has this, um, that you wouldn't really want to ask um, another business professional. I know that when I did B&I back uh, in 09, 10, 11, 12, they said that every day had to be like um, Disney World is what they said. But here on the coaches console, like the coaches lifestyle and easy breezy and all that, Every day does not have to be like Disney World, and that is totally okay. <laughs> we get messy, yeah. we get real, and we figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And when I was going through boot camp, I remember um, one part I really loved was when you, um, on, the, on the webinars, we did live webinars then, what, you were just like, okay, so here's what you might be thinking right now. How am I going to do all this? Or <laughs> whatever it was. And it's like... Oh my gosh, she gets me. <laughs> yeah. So we extend that out now through the Facebook and that our community has really grown. And, you know, the other coaches that I work with, you know, I can bounce something off of those, those folks because they've gone through it and are going through it. And they, they really lend um, a genuine kind of, I call it coach love, loving ear. Yeah. And, and I really value that. And that's where we can really leverage people's wisdom, right? Because yeah. we don't know what we don't know. I mean, it's just the right. truth. If we knew it, we'd all be successful. But it's a, like, right. we are not, usually when I encounter entrepreneurs or encounter startup coaches, like they've never started a business before. It's not, it's not something they've done. So of course you don't know what you're doing. You've never done it, right? Right. And we don't know what we don't know. And everybody's afraid to ask because there's this sense of I've got to be professional. I've got to have mm -hmm. my shit together. I've got to know mm -hmm. what I'm doing so that people will see me as, credible. So they'll want to hire me. So they'll pay me. And so we have mm -hmm. this idea that, you know, we got to know, and it's not mm -hmm. true. And no. now you do want to make sure that you are conveying professionalism. And that's why this community is so powerful because it's like this safe, the way I describe it is a safe and sacred place where we can come and be real together. We can come and get messy. We can ask the questions. It's like, what the heck do you do with this? Or, oh my gosh, I'm bumping into that. What's going on? And then we can leverage everybody else's experience. Because, you know, there's people in the group that are always one or two steps ahead of you or 10 or 20 steps ahead of you or 100 steps ahead of you. And there's always people in the group that are one or two steps behind you or 10 mm -hmm. or 20 steps behind you. And so we're right. all always working with each other and yeah. we're collaborating. And, and when we can tap in, it's, it's a vulnerable spot. But mm. when we can have this container of this community, we can really leverage that and, and be free. And like you said, oh my gosh, you get me. Because we're, yeah. we're all dealing yeah. with it. And you don't know what you don't know until you do. So, right, right. It's a great place to celebrate, too. You missed that part. Oh, yeah. To celebrate. <laughs> that is so important. You are so right. You know, that's one of the things that we get so caught up in is what's the next promotion? What's the next strategy? What's the next goal on my list? What's the next revenue goal? And we're mm -hmm. so focused on moving forward. We forget to acknowledge and celebrate and give gratitude for what is. And yeah. you are absolutely right. Like that's where the greatest momentum is celebrating what is. It's rocket fuel for moving forward. Beautiful right. reminder. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So tell me about your business right now because you, um, you, you do something a little unique. Um, you, you know, most everybody in here is just in the world of coaching, but you have a little different twist. So tell us a little bit about that. 
Okay, so my twist is all about your stuff. So the chaos that you see outside, whether it's in your calendar or whether it's around your living room or whether it's um, you know, in your email inbox, all that clutter and all that stuff, really it's symptomatic of what's in, in your head. So when I started my own business in 09, I started out as an organizer. And what I do is I leverage being a professional organizer um, and really I leverage that in the coaching space. So I've, I've really come around to doing all, all physical organizing to now all coaching. Mm -hmm. And people will say, gosh, how do you do that? And um, well, I don't know if I can answer that, but I will give you a lot of happy testimonials from customers because I do do it. And we, we just walk through a process of... Um, it's very similar to any other coaching. I would think that you look at your goal, you look at what's working, what's not working, and um, allow that stuff that isn't working to just get grayed out and the stuff that is working to really um, focus in on that. And then we have some strategies, tips, tools, um, fun things like that. A lot of people that come to me um, are ADD or think they're ADD or ADHD <laughs> or whatever it is. Um, and those are the people that tend to love working with me and I, I with them. Does that answer your question? It does. And, you know, yeah. as you're talking, it also reminds me because um, there's this big um, challenge that a lot of people have with this area called niche, right? It's mm -hmm. like, how do, I, how do I narrow down so that I know who to focus on? And so many people focus on the services that they offer. And they're like, well, gosh, if I, I'll just use your example. If I just focus on organizing, then I can't do coaching. But I love coaching. But if I just focus on coaching, I can't do organizing. But that, it goes right hand in hand. And one of the things that we teach in boot camp and we get really clear on is don't make it about your services, make it about the people that you serve and the transformation mm. you provide. Because like me, I used to be an interior designer, right? And so I'm also trained as a yoga practitioner and I have so many things in my toolkit. Like you've got the coaching, you've got the organizing. And when we um, focus on the people that we serve and the transformation we provide, then we can tap into our toolbox and you know, one coach or one person you might work with, they might need more of the organizational element. Another mm -hmm. person you work with, they might need more of the coaching aspect of things. Mm -hmm. But you have all of this in your toolkit and you can bring all of it to your clients, which I right. think is beautiful because that's how you powerfully serve them. Like you said, to share those tips, to share those resources, to share the fun things because you bring yeah. all of you to your clients. That's pretty powerful. Yeah. 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 Well, we just have a couple more minutes. Okay. And, um, you know, one of the things that I, I'd like to ask you is, uh, if you had a friend that was struggling to build their coaching business or to launch it or to get started with it, right? If they're frustrated or they're in that spot of overwhelm or they're in that spot that you described of they've got spitballs and duct tape holding thing and they just hope it all sticks somehow. <laughs> uh, like if they're in that spot, what would you tell them uh, about boot camp or the console system? Is there anything that you'd want to throw out there that we haven't already talked about? Honestly, and this is what I've been doing, is I've been saying, do yourself a favor and read these free resources and watch the videos that have been put out at no cost mm -hmm. by uh, Melinda and her team. Honestly, because it's the blueprint and the map and everything. And what I've said to many people is, I wish I had those to start with. And, 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 and I said, nobody told me to say this, but I would value those at probably like a thousand dollars and they're giving them away soup to nuts for free. And at the end of that, you'll have a roadmap. You'll have everything you need as far as step-by-step -step how to, how to, how to do a coaching business. And if you want to learn more about how that can all work together, then you can, you know, go to the webinars. You can ask me, I can show you my system. Um, but all the coaches console stuff, the console stuff is the back end. I love making your back end sexy. I have to just say that one. <laughs> <laughs> you make the back end of your business sexy. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. But going back to what I would do for a friend, I would say that for sure. And I felt really comfortable um, this time around before boot camp because I really could say with, with I kept saying hand on my, my email said, Hand on the Bible, this is true. This is a full training. It is not a commercial. This is a full training, and you will get value out of it. And you will decide at the end whether or not you want to do the software part or not. But this in and of itself, 
is very valuable. So that's, that's what I would say. Yeah. And we put that roadmap out there and it does, we detailed it out so somebody can just follow along. It's all the steps. Mm -hmm. And then we have our boot camp program because there's a lot of people that are like, okay, thanks for the steps. Now, what do I do with this? And, right. and that's why we have that boot camp to hold their hand, walk them through the strategies, share with them what to implement, how to implement it step by step, click by click. So we make it easy breezy, right? For the people that want that extra guidance. And I would say most people will want it. You know, mo you know, most people will say, oh, that's a great idea and I'll do it and it will stay on the shelf. <laughs> there are some that won't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But most people I think would really benefit by going through it because, it, you know, you, 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 week by week by week, you get a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. It becomes not overwhelming. And you have that community of people to kind of hold you in that coach love space and get you through it. And at the, uh, at the other end, you have this whole business set up and you're now ready to receive clients without freaking out about when finding the duct tape. Yeah. So, exactly. you now, know, and say that I, I want to, I want to squeeze in one last thing and then we do. Yeah. Need to wrap up. Uh, okay. But I think this is an important thing, you know, before you came to, to join us in boot camp and, and go through that guidance with us, Another thing that you described was that you, you felt like you were hiding uh, in mm, your business. You really couldn't yeah. put yourself, you didn't feel comfortable putting yourself out there. You didn't feel comfortable calling yourself a coach. So talk mm -hmm. just really quickly about that, little, that hiding that you were doing. And then now mm -hmm. after boot camp, what is it mm -hmm. like in your business? Sure. I think a lot of the hiding was having to do with that voice that was still in my head with your, your first question, like, just go get a job, you know, you'll never make it, you'll never earn any money kind of thing. And so I would just be hiding because I wasn't sure I didn't have that roadmap. Honestly, I had a, actually I had a business coach that said to me, and I, ha I didn't even have the guts to say this to him, but he said to me, well, Carol, you know, your business, we'll just market it like da 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 da. And I kept thinking in my head, and I was so scared to say, but I don't know my business. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And when I found the boot camp and all the business training that goes with it, then I felt like, oh my gosh, now I can say I know my business. And that, for me, was the transformation. Beautiful. Well, it has been such a pleasure to be on this journey with you and watch the transformation. And I love that you're, you're chiming in from your dock on the lake so that you're truly living the lifestyle that you want to create because of the business you've created. So Carol, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for popping in here with us. Thanks for being here and uh, for sharing your journey with us. I really thank appreciate you. it. It has been wonderful. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, everybody. Thank you. And if you want to do find out more about boot camp, you'll see in the post below with you get the step-by-step -step training you get the strategies for everything in the roadmap that carol was just talking about you get the console technology for free so you make make sure you want to check that out and a lot of other things so click the link below and find that out so you can stop hiding and start getting yourself out there and living the the business that you want to have and the lifestyle that you want to have all right thanks everybody bye for now